having watched the World Cup in '95, that was you know, the sort of first experience that I'd had of World Cup rugby. So, and that was a fairy tale that had come true. South Africa's dream is alive once more. You know, so I never really pictured myself you know, in a World Cup because it almost seemed like a, you know, a fairy tale. But uh, in 2007, it really was. This is a reality. You know, this fairy tale has become a reality that's been built over four years, and now we've got to not only rock up, we've got to make sure that we you know, do every single thing right every single day for seven weeks, and make sure that we follow through on what we've been dreaming about for so long. It was a four-year journey with you know, Jake joining us in 2004, bringing us together as, as a squad and um, announcing that we were going to win it in 2004, uh, like a crazy man really in front of us after we'd done so badly in the previous World Cup. What's different about a Rugby World Cup and the fixtures therein is that uh, once you get to a quarter-final, it's, it's life and death. But a final, you know, you've made it all that way and um, you know, the thoughts when, you, when you're lying in your bed the night before, the thoughts going through your mind are, you know, we've, we've done so well, we've got to this final, you know, surely we can't fall at the last post. So all the pressure you've had to endure through the quarter-final and semi-final sort of is you know, multiplied by 10 and you realise just how much is at stake. It was an amazing evening. I think the, the, the outlining feeling was walking down the tunnel uh, on the way to start the game and just, um, I suppose it's a mixture of nerves and, uh, and, and pressure and, and anticipation, I suppose, of what's to come. England, the defending champions, up against the champions of 12 years ago, South Africa. The final game is underway. It's, um, it's a special place to be when you've got a team like that and you just know that you know, whether it goes well or it goes badly, whether it's the 10th minute or the 70th minute, this team's going to do something to pull itself out. And South Africa have rolled that round and they get the put in. It was more the journey of the four years beforehand that, that uh, won us that game rather than the 80 minutes of the final. They're about to become world champions. And just as England did four years ago, and John Smith and his team are the winners here in the Stade de France. Well, I, th I think I was really privileged um, to be a captain of a, of a group that was as, as talented and as gifted as the one that we had in 2007. To have grown with that group and been able to lead them onto the field and then, you know, um, fortunately we were able to lift the cup after that 80 minutes. So, you know, if, if, if people always ask me what, what that feeling was like lifting the trophy and, and I think the only things that, that, have, um, that have given me that kind of satisfaction and emotion all at the same time have, have been the birth of my children. But, um, I've never ever felt anything like it before, it's just an irreplaceable feeling that um, no money could ever buy.